Okay, this is a video for people dealing with feeding tube and a G-tube administered medication based off of a question I had last week. So I got a notification in the mail and a phone call apparently per a decision in 2012. Everything in the eternal feeding medication family has been progressing towards this switch to Enfit or screw top, which I've done uh, a video on before. So I ran into a problem because everything's compatible except for uh, the plugs and the medication themselves. So this is what our old extension sets look like. This is a standard plug one and you would put the medicine syringe in that plug. So now they're doing away with this part and you're getting this extension which has a dual screw top. The reason for this apparently is there was a problem between mixing up IV and eternal things. Um, and the solution was let's just kind of kind of like okay so diesel the gas pump it doesn't fit in your regular gas but this is like they went the extra mile and said okay that's not enough we need to make the regular pump not compat not be able to go to a diesel engine so like two-way safety I suppose so the problem is when we had this syringe it was really easy to drop meds because they're plugged and they fit well and then it draws up. So with this new type of syringe that screw top, it's very secure. You can screw into the extension sets easily, but they don't work for drawing up meds. I discussed this with a couple of different people, including our pharmacist. Could remove the plug, pour it into a cup. Draw it up. I've also heard that some parents are using this syringe to draw up their meds, dump it. Basically, if you had this open, syringe it into there and then push it through. That seemed like a hassle. It also seems like you're going to risk a lot of bubbles with the more stretchy suspension fluid. So, um, all of the feedbacks. Everyone, it doesn't matter. We use the infinity pump. We also use occasionally the McKesson eternal gravity bag. And then I modified old kangaroo sets, which those are Covidian. Covidian. All of them have this same part that I'll show you. So if you open your bag, this is the gravity bag. And you look at it, there's this spot where, and I've already taken it off, so I'm causing problems, but this is designed to plug in to there. The bags have not changed. I don't know why, but they're still coming with this white piece. That may change in the future, but so far it hasn't. So anyway, with this new extension, that doesn't work. So I'm not sure why they're still sending this. But if you take that part off and you unscrew it, and that's how you're supposed to attach your feeding to the extension set. Well, at the end of the day, I've been saving this white piece, which someone that I know called a Christmas tree, that confused me because... Um, Christmas tree is shorthand for a green piece that's kind of shaped similar, um, but it's green and it works for the oxygen tubing. This is shaped very similar, but it's white and it's not related to oxygen. This is a feeding pump bag part. Anyway, you can stick that into the plug. And I would do this part first, but that screws into the end fit syringe. 
You can drop meds that way with a plug instead of having to remove the plug, pouring it into a cup or using two syringes. This is a little more exact. You don't deal with the air bubbles. You will have a little bit that draws up and gets stuck in there. From experience, it's real easy. Once you have drawn up the desired amount of med, you unscrew it, it'll flow back down into the bottle. I've tried this, didn't try this with the Motrin. I'm not gonna put Louisiana's medicines on a video that doesn't seem safe to me. But with all the other medicines, I haven't tried it with Motrin yet, but with all the other ones, it worked really well. So save your little white adapters from your feed bags. Because you can use them to draw up your medicines. Anyway, I asked our supplier company, I don't have a long-term solution. I said, well, what's the, what's the plan going forward? Because all medicines will have to have adapted plugs that are suited for these needs at some point and this they don't have a timeline on that they don't have any information on that they're telling people to pour them into cups and then draw them up I just it was very wasteful again you're gonna be dealing with drugs that need to be so exact to the point milliliters of it all it's just that doesn't seem like a, a functional thing for me so if you don't want to do the option where you syringe it up and you plug it in there and administer it that way, uh, you can save your little white adapter Christmas tree parts and they attach to the infant and you can drop your meds. That's all. Thanks for watching.